Rachel. This is my backyard. We're filming with my iPhone today because all of the computers in my house are really weird. And so we can be outside. Yay! And it's daylight. Normally I film at night. Um, so these weird like lines on my face, that's shadows because trees. Um, and also, um, sorry that I didn't post yesterday. Sorry that this is really noisy. I hope you can hear me. Um, I told you about the airplanes before. That's why. Um, yeah, so I was finishing up my poli-sci midterm, which was a long essay. It was actually my first college essay I've ever written, so that's like a milestone, a stressful milestone. Um, but that's not what we're going to talk about today. We are going to, first I'm going to answer your question, which was what am I going to be for Halloween? And normally I take a lot of pride in my Halloween costumes. I think Halloween's really fun. I like to dress up. I like to make my own costumes, but I don't know. This year I've been kind of bah humbug about Halloween. I know that's supposed to be for Christmas, but Halloween. Um, normally I don't shoot these videos all in one take. This is so stressful. I don't, I, it's really stressful. Just side note. Um, but, um, may, so maybe I'll dress up as this, but I might not dress up at all. Which I know you love Halloween, so that's probably a horrible disappointment to you. And my idea for what I'm going to be is probably going to be a disappointment to you too. But no regrets. Haters going to hate. Um, I'm going to be Taylor Swift for Halloween. And I'm going to be like from her You Belong With Me music video when she's in her pajamas. And she's like looking through the window at Lucas Till. And it's cute. So that's what I'm gonna be for Halloween. I need to find some glasses for that and I need to puffy paint a shirt. And it's gonna be cute. And that brings us to the real topic of our video today, which is Taylor Swift, because her new album, 1989, is out. Buy it on iTunes or buy it at Target if you want the deluxe edition with three bonus tracks. And some of my favorite songs from the album are the bonus tracks, so I would recommend that. Um, I'm moving because it was weird. This is better. Um, it's still weird. The background's weird. This is better. Um, so, I know, Rachel, that you're not really a Taylor Swift fan. And I mean, I can understand not loving Taylor Swift. It's not really. But, um, this is also holding up an iPhone's kind of tired. <laughs> um, it's, I'm having a rough time today. But, here's the thing. I love to love things, and Taylor Swift is something that I love to love, and John Green loves Taylor Swift, and I love John Green, so I take that as a validation of my love of Taylor Swift, and um, I mentioned John Green because he has this quote about how nerds love to love stuff unironically, and I really like it, and I would like read it to you but normally when I read stuff to you I read it off my phone and right now I'm making a video on my phone so I can't read it to you but you could probably look it up you probably know it because it's amazing you could check my Pinterest for it it's up there and he talks in the video he talks about going to see the Harry Potter premiere and how he was jumping up and down in his seat excited because he's that excited and it wasn't ironic he doesn't feel like he has to be like oh I'm too cool for that or like oh yeah that band stuff was early stuff was good um, and I'm kind of like that about Taylor Swift. I know that it's maybe like, you know, she's just a pop artist. I mean, it's nothing to get too excited about, but oh, I love Taylor Swift. And, you know, someone told me today, they're like, of course you like Taylor Swift. You look like her. And I'm not even sure if I still really look like her anymore. But, um, I thought that was so funny because like, I was like, imagine me listening to a song and being like, Oh yeah, that that um, sounds great because you know why? She looks like me. Logic, right? Maybe it's true. I don't know. Um, also, things I've been thinking about as the new Taylor Swift albums come out, I've been, like been talking to people. I'm like, I'm so excited, and they've been like, you're so lame, and I've been like, I don't care. But it's funny because Taylor Swift is actually really popular. Like she's number one on iTunes, and she sells a lot of music, and a lot of people love her. But I think that there's a lot more people that hate her, and so I think that's kind of the society we live in. No matter how many people love you, there's always going to be more people that hate you. And that's kind of sad, but interesting. That's how life is. Uh, so that's what's going on today. Sorry that I'm getting so lazy with my video blogs. Late. 
iPhone videography, um, rambling, don't have the quote for you that I wanted to have. Here is a question for you. I haven't thought of one, so I'm thinking of it. Right now, what is one thing that you are unapologetically in love with, even though, or not in love with, obsessed with, even though, um, maybe not all of your friends or the rest of society thinks it's something cool to be obsessed with? That's my question for you. Like, I'm obsessed with Taylor Swift. I used to be obsessed with Twilight, so that was even worse, but I got over it. I still actually like Twilight, so fun fact for you. Okay, bye Rachel!